Hi, I'm Brendan Peterson, one of Scribe's technical evangelists. I'm here today to talk to you about Scribe Alliance APIs. Uh, with our one of our most current releases, we kind of um, redoubled our effort on our APIs. We've always had them behind the scenes. They haven't been a big touted feature because they had some limited scope of what they gave you ability to do. Things like start and stop integrations from running, um, get some, some status back from them, really pretty limited scope. But with our fall release of 2014, we went through and we really added a whole new layer to the, the um, types of APIs that we offered. The core benefit behind this is to give more access to the platform as a kind of a real platform layer versus always going in through Scribe's interface. We love our interface, we think it works really well, um, gives you a lot of power, but we know that as you grow and scale your business, you're going to need to be able to have more hands off to that integration. And this is going to allow you to do more of this automatically uh, behind the scenes. So if we go here for a moment, out at dev.scribesoft.com slash API, we've got our new set of API docs. Um, the couple nice things about this, A, it groups everything logically. You've also got some overview and, and um, release notes that go along with this. So if you want to get a general overview of you know, how do I work with connections in Scribe Align? What's a REST API? You can read some of that over, but to get directly into the endpoints, I can see here that I've got things like agents, commands, connections, connectors, customers, errors, records, history, uh, really anything you're doing through that UI as far as creating an organization, adding people to it, provisioning connectors, um, importing templates, all that stuff can now be done via this REST API. Another nice thing about this doc is it's truly interactive. So I can see here, I put in my, my credentials on the top, and what I can now do is if I go down to organizations, I get a list of all the different organization endpoints that exist. So if I want to return a list of organizations for my user, I can see what that call would look like if I want to see directly what I would have to write in code. I can see some of that details here. But I can also use my try it out button. This will actually go out and make a live call against Scribe's API and bring back some context around this, this call that we made. So whether it's going to be you know, provisioning an account, whether it's provisioning an agent, whether it's just getting some information back from Scribe Online, that's all going to be handled via this, this interactive doc. It's really a cool thing. Uh, again, if you're not a coder per, per se, if you really just want to kind of get your head wrapped around what Scribe has to offer, you can use this documentation portal and that gives you access to actually hit the APIs. So if we looked here, I scrolled down the response I got back. Here's all the different organizations that my user account is a part of. So again, you can see some, some power here that you can start writing some code around this. Maybe you want to write a mobile map, uh, mo mobile app interface to say, you know, give me my customers, interact with them there. There's a lot of that you can do. You can, again, you can still start, stop um, integrations from this API. If you look at the lists that we have here, again, each one of these, these endpoints has a big kind of set and array of data that it can interact with. Posts, puts, gets, deletes, um, pretty basic standard REST interfaces. So that's all well and good, but why should a lot of you out there care? Maybe not all of you watching this are developers. Uh, maybe some of you are more of our, our tried and true partners. Maybe you're just a systems integrators that you want to see, you know, why does this matter to you? One of the big reasons why this matters is that we've tried to make it easy for people to get onboarded onto the platform for a long time now. So if I switch context here back on my screen, I can see I'm in a pre-sales master organization and I can create new orgs from here. So I can add a new, you know, new accounts from here. This allows me when I use the wholesale program with Scribe, I can provision my own customers. I don't have to call Scribe up, start a new subscription. I just have this fall underneath my umbrella of rows per year or records annually. That works really well uh, to a point, but basically what you might want to do is, if you see here on the right hand side of the screen, I brought up a little app that we wrote. Really simple um, use case behind this, but you're going to want to be able to go through and maybe you've created a bunch of IP. You've created your own Marketo and Dynamic CRM integration. It's awesome and you've been handing it out to customers manually. You've got people who go through, they provision clients, they import the templates, they create the connections, they're going through and doing some of that hand-holding. And let's say on average it takes you, you know, three business days to kind of get that, that closed loop of just getting the imports done and the connections configured. It's a lot better than three or four months. Um, it's still a very quick process, but you may want to say you get to a point where you just have, have warm bodies doing this task over and over and over again. So why don't we try to find a way to automate that? So this, this little um, Acme company, 
we're basically going to start off and filling out some, some forms, some wizards. So I'm going to fill in my email address, my name, and this will be Brendan's Demo Company 123. Very creative naming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through and filling out this form as an end user customer. This is something that as, as Acme companies, Acme integrators, I've got up on my website a place that users can go and start filling out this information. I can pick you know, what kind of name I want my company to be, my systems I want to integrate. So again, I, I use CRM and Marketo as an example, but I might have 15 different templates that I can offer up. So each one of these kind of decisions that I'm walking through in turn is going to correlate to a template you're going to import. So I'm going to pick Dynamic CRM and Marketo. That's going to take me to my next question. So if you think about this logically, what you're doing is you're putting a user or a customer through a series of questionnaires to find out what is it exactly you want to integrate. They may say Marketo CRM. You say, good, I've got a package for that. It does accounts, contacts, and leads. They can then pick and choose those individual objects that they care about. They can integrate that, you know, again, however they want, but by walking through this questionnaire, you could have that selection process coming down to an individual template you want to import. Maybe you offer each object is 50 bucks a month. Maybe it's going to be passed through the customer some other way, but you can now kind of guide their decision process through this. And as they continually select these, these different you know, options, they can then get to a point where they enter in their credentials. They don't have to call you. They don't have to give you a password. They can put all that in through a secure web form. And maybe the last step of this is credit card information. So as I've been doing this, you can kind of see that over on the left-hand side, that Brennan Company demo um, 123 has been created. And if I switch over to that, I can see I've imported a CRM Marketo instance. I provisioned a cloud agent. And I've also gone through and I've added in the connectors that I need. So I've, I've been able to provision that Marketo connector. I could then, if I went through the next step, I could you know, import their, their actual connection credentials. I can test them. I can validate them and make sure it works. But the end, the end game here is that I could actually stand up and provision a working integration for a brand new customer without ever having one of my employees look at Scribe. They set all this up ahead of time. You have your series of web forms that people walk through in order to get the information they need out there. You've stood this up and you have your vetted and tested templates and it just does it. So if you think about a lot of what Scribe ends up seeing is that we're in competition with native integrations. So Marketo provides their own integration with, with Dynamics CRM. Why would we go with Scribe? Well, you could cover that same kind of baseline integration through this type of, of APIs, but then if a customer calls you up and asks, hey, hey, you know, hey, John, hey, Brendan, I need to go through and I don't really use contacts. I have this custom object that I'm starting to use. Can you integrate with that? In the background, even though you've provisioned everything through the APIs and they're up and running that way, you can still go with the Scribe Online UI and make your changes and configurations there. So you're enabled by the fact that you have the API to provision all this data down, but you're not limited by the fact that you're doing it through, through APIs and code. You still have all the Scribe Online UI that you're going to be able to get access to if you want to make changes, configuration changes, um, updates and, and configuration you know, changes for the customer needs, um, troubleshooting, any of this normal stuff you would do in the Scribe Online UI, you still have access to get in there and do it. You're simply going to get started um, through that automatic code layer. So hopefully, I know this wasn't very technical. Uh, it wasn't meant to be. We're going to have some more videos and documentation and training going out around these APIs. But hopefully this starts to just kind of crack the door on what you could start to offer with this. Uh, we have several partners who are going out and starting to do this already. Uh, it's a really interesting program. It's a really interesting new aspect of Scribe. And it's something that we've never been able to do before with, with Scribe Align or with Insight. So it's a brand new territory for us. Uh, we're really excited about it, and hopefully you guys are too.